What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Lovresic from Pixel Feed here and in this video I'm going to show you how to target your competitors customers with Facebook ads so you can drive yourselves through the roof. But before we get started, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and before we dive right in, make sure to watch all the way to the end where I'm going to give you my little secret to save tons of time and money when testing. Let's roll. One of the most powerful things that you can do with Facebook ads is to target your competitors, customers, or clients with your own ads. Why? Because guess what? If they're buying from them, they're most likely to buy from you if you put the right product, service, and offer in front of them. So I'm going to show you how to find those competitors. And then if you stay till the end, I'm going to show you how to test those interests so you don't waste time and money trying to figure out which ones work and which ones don't. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to create a new campaign. And for this purpose, I'm just going to create a random conversion campaign and name it CBO. Okay. So CBO, save to draft. Okay, so ignore these, uh, these errors right here. It's just a generic account. And the first thing I'm going to do here, you got to choose your event. So purchase in this case, close this. I'm going to go to our interest right here. Okay. So let's say I'm doing the pet niche. So we're going to go to our friend Google here. Uh, pet stores online. All right. So you got PetSmart, you got Petco. So let's do PetSmart. It's PetSmart. This is what most people do. They just guess. It's PetSmart and interest. So they click in here. PetSmart. And it is. So you type in PetSmart. And this is what Facebook does. All right. This is how they assign interests and how this is how they pull people into those interests. Anyone who has engaged with any PetSmart page or related to PetSmart will be pulled into that interest. Anybody who has typed anything on Facebook with the word PetSmart or tagging PetSmart in it will be pulled into that interest. Anyone who has interacted with their website or any other properties off Facebook, meaning, you know, their website that the pixel tracked them, they got pixelated by the Facebook pixel, will be put in that interest. So this is why your competitor's interests are so powerful, because now we know they're buying from them and they're interested in their brand. Okay. So we got the first one, PetSmart. We want to learn a little bit more about it and we want to, for, we want to find more interests. So the next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to my audience insights. All right. And you have probably seen my audience insights video. If you want to learn how to target, I'll put the, the link in here somewhere. And the first thing I'm going to do is going to go to everyone on Facebook. Yes, we want the whole United States for this example. And it's going to show you all the active people in the United States, all the demographics, you know, relationship status like married, if they went to college, grad school, the type of jobs. So all this information is gold because you can use this to uh for your creatives right so if i know that i'm targeting an ad for somebody who's between 25 and 34 and they're women and they're in the it service uh you know job category i can write my ad specific to that so in this case we're going to use PetSmart. okay so PetSmart. i'm going to click that and now see how everything changes so now we know that most of the people pulled into that interest are 75% women, 25% men. Uh, the biggest demographic is 25 to 34. 50% of them are married. 60% of them went to college. And these are their jobs. So let's say if you're targeting somebody who's in the healthcare, um, you know, uh, job, uh, their job titles in the healthcare or, or medical services and you want to target, you can speak directly to them. Uh, so if you're selling a dog product uh, to nurses, let's say, we know your shifts can be long and you don't want to leave your dog alone at home. So here's this like, say, uh, security camera. You can talk to your dog from your phone. I don't know. I don't even know what it's called, but I've seen those. So this is what gives you ideas for your creatives and your behavior and all that good stuff. Then uh, activity is going to tell you if they spend money or not. So look, they click on tons of ads. So this is a really good interest to use. Uh, maybe not so much for trying to write, run a likes campaigns, but definitely to sell them stuff. Now we know that uh, most of them use Androids and iPhones. 
Um, and mobile only is the biggest category, which nowadays it's, it's almost always the case. Uh, so the next thing I want to look at is go here on page likes. And now this is going to reveal some other of our competitors. So now we have Chewy and Petco, right? So that's two other competitors. See, because sometimes you're not going to see those small businesses uh, on the Google results. So this is how you get ideas for other, comp uh, other competitors that are active as an interest on Facebook. And look, not always they're going to work. They're not going to always work. So you got to test them all out. So the other thing that you want to look at is your affinity score, right? The higher the score, the better that interest is. So what is affinity? Affinity is how likely your audience is to like a given page compared to everyone on Facebook or engage or, you know, most likely to be into what you're trying to show them. Okay. It's not just likes. It's it's how much most likely they're, they're going to take action or whatever you put in front of them. So PetSmart's good. So let's say the next one I want to do is, I don't know, Chewy. So let's try Chewy. Why not? Chewy Pet Supply. So you're going to see everything change. Oh, of course, it's not working. So the one I saw was Petco, I believe it was. Yeah, Petco. This looks always buggy. So let's see if this comes up. There you go. So Petco. So now look at the affinity score in Petco. It's much, much higher. We're at a hundred and X affinity. Again, you want to use anything that's 40 plus here. So you, you look down here, you look for more brands. So uh, for example, it'll give you ideas for other type of targeting. So I love my dog. Okay, so this is not a competitor, but this is what I call hardcore fans so i will create my own pool of hardcore pages like this so i believe this is a blog right it looks like a blog so see this is a blog so it gives you an idea to create a campaign based on just blogs so you go down the rabbit hole of finding blogs that are related to your niche but that's another video for another day we want to stick to uh stores that's all we want to do just stores okay so petco that's another one so we'll go in here and i will definitely test it out so we type in petco is that available right yes it is that's an interest right so if you really want to get um you know tricky with your targeting you can do that you can play with the demographics so in this case uh petco is what what was it 25 to 34 is your biggest audience right so you go 25 to 34. now you can do this uh, i don't like to do this until the end of a campaign to do what's called trimming out the fat. And the reason as to why is because if you start from the get go targeting like this, you're choking the Facebook algorithm and your conversions are going to be much, much more expensive. Facebook has gotten really good about putting the ad in front of the right demographic at the right time and the right placement. So I usually live automatic placements on like that. Okay. So now, now, as you keep digging through this and you keep finding your interest, you're going to build a list, right? Of these interests. So here's another one, BarkBox. That's a subscription box. Is that available? I don't know. Let's check it out. BarkBox. So it is. So let's look at our demographics and hopefully it's working. It's not going to give me an error. So let's see. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. So now we have BarkBox. That's a new one. Look at that affinity score. That just jumped up to 283x. Do you think that's going to be a good product? Of course. Look at that affinity score. I bet you if we go on their page, we're going to see some good stuff of what they're selling. So another thing that I like to do here is I will go to their ad library, right? And it's currently running ads. So I will click ad library. What are they selling, right? So let's say you have your own store and you want to know what they're selling or you, you work, you're an agency. You want to know what they're pushing. What angles are they pushing? Go through their ads. Look, they have a, a Scooby-Doo plush that they're selling, right? Are you, can you sell that? Can you sell something similar? So this is what people are buying from this interest. Okay. See, see how it just opens up. Now you're seeing, you're seeing the matrix, right? So. This is how you do it. So you, you add it to your list of competitors. Now, how do you test all these interests without wasting thousands and thousands of dollars in time, meaning days and days and days? You can literally figure this out in a couple of days by spending just a few bucks. So let me show you one of my accounts here. So this is an account that I just launched literally a week and a half ago. 
And the way that I do, as you can see, the cells are rolling in already, right? And this is how I do it. I create one specific campaign, PPE, page post engagement. And inside that campaign, every single interest, I will set an ad set with it, right? And what I do is I set them for like five bucks each and let them run for three days. And this is where you're going to see when you look at your stats, you're going to look at your outbound clicks, right? And I already sort them by highest to lowest, right? And some of them are not even going to work. And you can see this in less than 24 hours sometimes. Some of them, I just, I just 24 hours, I know if they're going to work or not. But if you really want to play it safe, give it three days each, right? And the, the way I, te I test three, I test four at a time because I'm going to pull four into one CBO campaign with $100 a day to start, right? So that's how I do it. If you're doing $50 CBOs a day, then do two. Okay, if you're just doing one, then just do one. That's okay. You're in your own budget. Go as fast as you can. You know, the, the amount of money you spend is basically how fast you can scale, right? But it, it's okay. So what I do is once I start running my, my interest one by one, I'm going to start seeing the behavior. So you're going to see some of the people are going to click over more than others, right? Once you see after three days, you're going to pick the top with the most clicks. So in this case, I went with the ones that had, you know, eight, eight, six, and five. So I grab those and move them over to their own CBO campaign, which is here. And this was my second one. And see how successful those ads are right away. Guys, if you like that video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. And to keep learning, to keep moving forward, hit one of the boxes right above me. And I'll see you in the next video.